हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर एस पी सूद रिटायर्ड एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर एंड हेड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ लाइब्रेरी एंड इंफॉर्मेशन साइंस यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ राजस्थान जयपुर टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग मॉड्यूल सब्जेक्ट कैटलॉगिंग चैन प्रोसीजर पोपसी एंड पेसी प्रेसिस अंडर पेपर नॉलेज ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल स्ट्रक्चर कैटलॉगिंग जॉइंटली कंट्रीब्यूटेड बाय प्रोफेसर एस एस अग्रवाल रिटायर्ड प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ लाइब्रेरी एंड इंफॉर्मेशन साइंस बिक्रम यूनिवर्सिटी उज्जैन एंड डॉक्टर एस पी सूद सब्जेक्ट अप्रोच इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट अप्रोच ऑफ द लाइब्रेरी क्लाइंटेज द अप्रोच इज सर्वड इन डिक्शनरी कैटलॉग by preparing subject entries with the help of printed lists of subject headings that is lc list of subject heading or cs list of subject headings which have been discussed in previous module in classified catalog subject entries are prepared according to chain procedure devised by dr s r rangnathan in this module chain procedure popsy and presses are discussed objectives of the modules are as follows to define chain procedure and discuss its terminology steps advantages and disadvantages to define popsy and discuss its advantages steps working and potentialities to define traces and discuss its chief characteristics string making role operators and generation of entries chain procedure definition of chain procedure the unique concept of chain procedure was first expounded by dr rangnathan a staunch supporter of subject approach in his book theory of library catalog in 1938 it is the digit by digit translation of the class number assigned to a document into ordinary language it means each class number is analyzed as a series of links that is steps of division from the main class to the specific subject out of this analysis sort links are used as the headings of class index entries beginning from the last step rangnathan has defined it as a procedure for deriving subject word entries from a class number in a more or less mechanical way once a person understands the technique of chain procedure he can draw it smoothly and almost mechanically chain indexing or chain procedure as it is popularly known has been defined by Betty C. David as a method of deriving alphabetical subject index entries in a semi-automatic fashion from the chain of successive subdivisions that leads from a general level to the most specific level needed to be indexed. It may be used to provide indexes not only to classification scheme and classified catalog. but also to all other systematic organized indexes even when they are arranged alphabetically the chain is nearly always but not necessarily taken from a classification scheme in use and the method is intended to offer general as well as specific access to all information and thus to avoid arbitrarily and to avoid arbitrary decisions by the indexer as to how a subject may be approached through the catalog it is a semi mechanical method of producing the requisite subject index entries for a classified catalog based on analysis of the classification system of each subject e j codes has defined it as a method first propounded by rangnathan for constructing subject index entries without permutation of components by citing terms contained in particular chains 
functions of chain procedure. A. Thirumuthu Swami has enumerated the following functions of chain procedure. First, to derive the subject word headings to serve as an unfailing index to the arrangement of subjects in the classified part of the catalog. Second, to display many of those relations between the component parts of a specific subject which are not displayed by the classified sequence and third, to provide the required alphabetic subject index key to find out the class number of a particular subject for consulting the classified part. Prerequisites of chain procedure. The chain procedure works successfully and efficiently on the following conditions. First, the book must be classified first and catalogued later. Second, the class number allotted to the book should be coextensive. Third, classification scheme adopted for classification of documents should be well modulated. And fourth, the term denoting the class number should be general and currently in use. Method of chain procedure. First of all the links are derived from the digits of the class number that is first link out of the first digit, the second digit out of the first two digits, the third link out of the first digits and so on up to the last link which is to be made of all digits. Secondly, they will be written one below the other in succession and against each link is written its translation into natural language. While translating into natural language, we can use only those terms which are given in the classification schedule. This is done to achieve consistency and uniformity. After putting natural language, these links are connected with the sign equal. Thirdly, this sign of each link is connected with the next succeeding link by a downward arrow. Putting the sign of arrow is merely to make the chain visible to the eyes. For example, the class number O111, 1, M88, 1, 4, the best land by T.S. Eliot, the following links will be drawn. O equal to literature. O1 equal to Indo-European literature. O11 Teutonic literature. O111 equal to English literature. O111, comma, equal to connecting symbol of personality. O111, comma, 1, equal to English poetry. O111, comma, M, English poetry of poets born in 1800. O111, comma, 1, M, 8 equal to English poetry of poets born in 1880s. O111, 1, M88 equal to English poetry of poet born in 1888, that is Eliot. O111, comma, M88, comma, connecting symbol for personality facet. O111, comma, 1, M88, 1 equal to the best land by T.S. Eliot. After the links are drawn, the next step is to select the false, unsort and sort links. If the link ends with a connecting symbol or a signature symbol or time isolate representing time facet of the class is called as false link. There can be some unsort links in the chain. The decision of a link 
whether sort or unsort is arbitrary. It depends upon the library which may define it in the light of the reading materials organized in the interest of the readers served and the nature of the service attempted. All remaining links which are neither false nor unsought are known as sort links. These are used for giving subject headings in the class index entries of the alphabetical part of the classified catalog. In the above example, there are 11 links but only link number 1, 4, 6, 9 and 11 are significant or sort links. Number 2 and 3 are unsort and 5, 7, 8 and 10 are false links. The sort links are written from the last link. They are denoted by the terms used in the schedule of classification. They are illustrated below. First is Bestland, comma Elliot, TS, 1888, class number is O111, comma 1, M88, comma 1. Second heading will be Elliot, TS, 1888, poetry, class number is O111, comma 1, M88. Third, poetry English, class number is O111, comma 1. Fourth, English literature, class number is O111. Fifth is literature, class number is O. At every progressive step in the chain, the right hand digit is left and the index term is, in each case, the term which is denoted by the new last digit. Class index entries. After determining the sort links, the next step is to prepare class index entries. In the above case, we have to prepare five class index entries derived from the class number 0111,1M88,1. One class index entry is illustrated below. The leading section of the entry will be Best land, comma, Iliad, within bracket TS, within bracket 1888. In second section, directing words as four documents in this class and its subdivisions, comma, see the classified part of the catalog under the class number are written. And the third section is O111, comma, 1, M88, comma, 1. Advantages of chain procedure. First, economic method. Chain procedure is an economical method. This economy is of two types. A. Chain procedure saves the time for compiling and publishing huge subject heading lists, which, even when complete, do not suit the needs of every library and catalogers have to mutilate and adopt these according to their needs. B. It is very economical method of arriving at subject headings. Catalogers time is saved a lot as he need not search the specific subject of the book. Economy in the number of entries may also be secured. According to courts, chain procedure is substantially more economical than other possible systems because it eliminates permutation of components so that for any particular compound subject, the saving is a question of the ratio between the sum of the components and their factorials. For terms, of one or two components, there is no saving. For terms of three components, six permutations, there is a 50% saving in number of entries required. For terms of four components, 24 possible permutations, there is a saving of 83.33% and for longer compounds, the economy is even greater. 
second advantage mechanical nature the second claim made on behalf of the chain procedure is that it provides a simple mechanical way in lists of subject headings the cataloger has to use his knowledge and discretion to finalize the number of entries to be prepared for a specific title but chain procedure is just like indian magic one reaches the relevant link and the subject heading is ready only you have to use your judgment whether the subject heading is sought or unsought third advantage uniformity and accuracy the chain procedure is an accurate method whenever it is applied it will give the accurate and uniform subject heading no matter whosoever is the cataloger while in the case of compiled list of subject headings it is sometime different fourth symbiosis between classification and cataloging there is a remarkable coordination between classifier and cataloger in this method a class number is assigned by the classifier and the cataloger turns it into subject headings of the terminology of classification schedule in case of any mistake on the part of classifier in assigning a class number it is also corrected fifth alphabetic key it provides an alphabetical entry under the idea denoted by every digit in the class number the alphabetical subject headings derived by chain procedure lead the reader to the exact spot in as near to its formulated heading and to his actual need as possible the subject heading derived on the basis of chain procedure forms therefore a never failing key to the classified part of the catalog limitations of chain procedure in spite of all its qualities this system has limitations of its own they are first catalogers are deprived of the opportunity of studying books from the point of view of a specific subject second if the classifier has allotted the wrong class number and the cataloger fails to detect it the defective subject entries will be prepared third chain procedure is entirely dependent on the classification scheme and as a result it can be only as good as the classification scheme used for the success of this method the class number assigned to documents must be coextensive with their subjects and properly modulated classification schemes do not always possess this quality there may not actually be a separate document in the library dealing with the subject represented by one or more of the sort upper links in a chain which may confuse the readers and fifth is the sequence of terms in a heading is not always desired one the readers mostly consult the concrete idea among the group of words in a compound headings but in colon classification only abstract idea is used for example in a class index entry in leading section is given bibliography comma shakespeare william 1564 for documents in this class and its subdivisions see the classified part of the catalog under the class number and the third section is o111 comma 2j64a but readers are not satisfied only by this entry and they need another entry as follows shakespeare william 1564 comma bibliography according to ej codes its chain procedure importance lies in the fact that it is the first systematical procedure laid down for subject indexing it is nearly do not quite it is nearly do not quite mechanical in its method of working it scores heavily over earlier practices on grounds of economy it provides 
entry word approach for compound subjects through a combined system of generic and specific entries. But it has the disadvantage that the components in its compound subject entries are not given in the order in which most inquirers will think of them. Finally, it demonstrates subject relationship by alphabetical collection of entries on different aspects of the same subject. It is limited in this respect only by the extent to which the colon classification fails to modulate fully in the listing of terms in hierarchy. The very fact that the British National Bibliography has employed chain procedure in preparing its subject index is a scientific tribute to chain procedures superiority over other techniques of subject indexing. Till classified catalog is in use as a tool for access of libraries collection, Ranganathan will be remembered for maximizing the efficiency of this tool by devising chain procedure. POPC Postulate Based Permuted Subject Indexing Introduction Chain procedure devised by Ranganathan has been a significant landmark in subject indexing both in India and abroad. Its major weakness has been its dependence on a scheme of classification. The class number is the basis of chain procedure. If the class number of a document is constructed on the basis of a structurally defective scheme, the chain procedure cannot index the document properly. It also suffers from the problem of disappearing chain. The information scientists of DRTC developed an indexing system free from these defects which is called as POPC. It does not depend on the class number but it is based on Ranganathan's postulates and principles of general theory of classification. Hence, it is considered an improved version of chain indexing. Advantages of POPC POPC is helpful in first formulating subject headings which may be used as feature headings or for other indexing purposes. Second, deriving subject index entries for a classified index or for an index to a book, etc. Third, determining the subject of a reader's query in consistent and helpful way. Fourth, formulating a strategy for searching information about a subject in a catalog or other surrogate files and fifth, deriving a base for the presentation of ideas in the text of a document. Steps in POPC Following steps are involved in POPC. First is verbal representation. Second is display of components. Third is short display. Fourth is approach terms. Fifth is deriving subject index entry. Sixth is display of subject index entries. Seventh is cross references. And the eighth one is alphabetical arrangement of entries. New version of POPC. This version of POPC requires a set of elementary categories which are discipline, D, entity, E, action, A, and property, P. Discipline, D, covers conventional field of study, for example, physics, medicine, political science, etc. Entity, E, includes manifestation having perpetual correlates, energy, plants, place, time, etc. are its example. Action A includes manifestations 
denoting the concepts of doing. Property P includes manifestations denoting the concept of attribute, for example, effect, efficiency, power, property, etc. The working of POPSI. The working of POPSI can be understood with the help of an example. Document, title of the document is Treatment of Tuberculosis of Lungs. First step, verbal representation. D is medicine, E is lung, P of E is tuberculosis, A is treatment. Second step, formalization of the sequence of components. Medicine, D, lungs, E, tuberculosis, P of E, treatment, A on P. Third step, standardization and its concern with semantics. Medicine, D, lungs, E, tuberculosis, P of E, treatment, A on P. Fourth step, modulation with augments. Medicine D, man, comma, respiratory system, comma, lungs E, disease, comma, tuberculosis, P of E, treatment A on P. Fifth step, preparation of the entry for organizing classification. Medicine 6, man, comma, respiratory system, comma, lungs 6.2, disease, coma, tuberculosis, 6.2.1, treatment. Sixth step, to decide the terms of approach. Treatment, C, threptic. Seventh step, to prepare entries under each term of approach as given below. Threptic, medicine, 6, man, coma, respiratory system, coma, lungs, 6.2, Disease, coma, tuberculosis, 6.2.1, coma, threptic. Tuberculosis, medicine, 6, man, coma, respiratory system, coma, lungs, 6.2, disease, coma, tuberculosis, 6.2.1, threptic. Similarly, there will be entries under disease, lungs, respiratory system, man and medicine, will be left out. Eighth step, alphabetization of all the index entries and references. Potentialities of POPC. It can be used in various ways. First, to construct subject headings. Second, to generate subject index entries for the classified catalog, etc. It is being used in a number of bibliographical and indexing publications. Conclusion. POPSI is an extension of chain indexing. It has solved the problem of disappearing chain, which was major criticism against the chain indexing. It made the indexing system free from classification scheme. Though it is designed for manual methods, it is amenable to computer use also. Preces Preserved Context Indexing System Introduction Preces came into existence in 1968. It has been developed by Derek Austin. It was the result of long research which was undertaken by the classification research group CRG London. After testing it thoroughly, it was introduced in BNB in 1971. The BNB since its inception in 1950 has been using Ranganathan's chain procedure for preparing its alphabetical index. It is supposed to be free from all the limitations which chain procedure was suffering from. It may not be the best indexing system, but it is believed to be better one. Definition. The originator of races, Derek Austin, has defined it as a system in which the initial string of terms organized according to a scheme of role operators 
is computer manipulated so that selected words function in turn as the approach term. Entries are restructured at every step in such a way that the user can determine from the layout of the entry which terms set the appropriate term into its context and which terms are context dependent on the approach terms. Chief characteristics of presses. It is independent of classification scheme. The headings to be generated by presses are to be coextensive with the contents of the document at all access point. The entries generated by the system are to be meaningful so as to enable the users to interpret them correctly. The system is quite flexible to accommodate the new terms put into the literature freely. The system is amenable to use of computer for generating additional index entries. String making. Two principles are followed in the preparation of a string. First, context dependence and second, one-to-one -one relationship. This may be understood by taking an example. Recruitment of staff in the colleges of Rajasthan. Here, the component terms are recruitment, staff, college, Rajasthan. Hence, we can say that there is a state Rajasthan which has a staff whose recruitment is the theme of a document. The arrangement of the components in the string will be as follows. Rajasthan dot college dot staff dot recruitment. Here, each term is directly related to the next term in the string. Role operators. The principles of context dependency and one-to-one -one relationship are adopted for the order of terms in the string format. In the example given above, the situation will be as follows. Rajasthan dot colleges dot staff dot recruitment or recruitment dot staff dot colleges dot Rajasthan. The context in the above entries is intact, but this is not so in the following entries. Colleges dot Rajasthan dot staff dot recruitment or staff dot Rajasthan dot colleges dot recruitment. Generation of entries. Index entries are generated from the string by shunting. Each component term in the string becomes an approach term for the users by turn. This portion is shown below. Rajasthan dot colleges dot staff dot recruitment. Rajasthan colleges dot staff dot recruitment. Colleges dot Rajasthan, next line, staff dot recruitment. Staff dot colleges dot Rajasthan, next line, recruitment. Recruitment dot staff dot colleges dot Rajasthan. Presses versus chain indexing. String formation in presses is, is not dependent on classification scheme. Hence, it is not affected by the structural defects of the classification scheme. It has also got over the problem of the disappearing chain which is a major point of criticism against chain indexing. It does not face also the problem of empty links as it is the case with chain indexing. Chain procedure is all right for a classified index but not so effective for alphabetical index. Conclusion. Traces has also been adopted by national bibliographies other than 
British National Bibliography and in indexing systems. In the words of Phyllis Richmond, the Prestige system is one of the most versatile. In general, one may consider it a quantum jump ahead of contemporary competition. Prestige has been criticized as it has not been able to have both the semantic and synthetic roles of terms in one single string. But a final judgment is but a final judgment about its proficiency cannot be passed. So students let us summarize what we have learnt in this module. We have learnt the definition of chain procedure, function, method of chain procedure, preparation of class index entries, advantages and limitations as well as advantages of POPSI, its steps and working. We have also learnt the definition of presses, chief characteristics, string making, role operators and generation of entries. Thank you.